So my name is Ian Needleman. I'm Professor of Restorative Dentistry and Evidence-Based Healthcare at the Eastman Dental Institute and I also lead the Centre for Oral Health and Performance. The aims of the project were to evaluate the detail of the oral health of professional footballers in the UK and to look at factors which might affect that in a positive and, and a negative way and also to look at the self-reported impact on performance in football. So we visited uh, eight teams, five in the Premier League, uh, two in the Championship and one League One team and uh, we were able to screen more than 90% of each senior squad. The research involved detailed uh, oral health clinical examinations of football players and uh, this was carried out by experienced dentists using validated, well-recognised uh, measures of oral health, particularly focusing on the key oral diseases such as dental caries, uh, dental erosion, which is the loss of enamel and dentine on teeth caused by um, acidic uh, intakes, and uh, gum disease as well. And we visited the teams during the pre-season uh, screening window in the summer, carried out the detailed dental examinations, and also asked them to complete a questionnaire which looked at their determinants of oral health and also the self-reported impacts on performance. So the main findings of the study were of uh, poor oral health across professional footballers and that included uh, high levels of dental decay, of dental erosion and of gum disease and we also found uh, significant uh, impacts on quality of life and being bothered by their oral health as well as self-reported impact on performance. 37% of them had active tooth decay, 53% of them had dental erosion involving the enamel and dentine and at least 5% of them moderate to severe forms of irreversible gum disease. And in terms of impact on performance, 45% of the footballers reported they were concerned about their oral health, 20% reported an impact on their quality of life and 7% on training and performance. So the recommendations from the study are that uh, oral health screening should be a routine part of screening in professional football and certainly an argument that uh, there's a stronger case for uh, oral health screening than for uh, some of the other musculoskeletal uh, aspects of screening, at least in terms of uh, the recommended guidelines. We also recommend that uh, professional football should be considered at high risk of poor oral health and what that means is that they should have available a preventive programme using uh, very well recognised, good evidence-based uh, interventions which are also very cost effective to um, take into account their high risk and to prevent them developing these uh, dental conditions. For those people that are interested in oral health and sport, we have uh, set up a centre for oral health and performance and uh, there is a network which you can uh, join and the network is growing a community of people with an interest, connecting them together, but also enables us to provide up-to-date information about developments and research.